Hello friends, welcome to Amazon Webcast and in this video demonstration we are going to see how to configure a secondary zone in a DNS server. Secondary zones are a DNS feature that allows the entire DNS database from a master DNS server to be transferred to the secondary DNS server. A secondary zones allow an organization to provide fault tolerance and load balancing to the internal names. In addition to being able to resolve names to a private namespace or a speed up a name resolution to a public namespace without the use of conditional forwarders or sub zones, that time we can use a secondary zone. So for this demonstration, we have a two VM uh, on uh, this first VM that is SRT hyphen DC01. We have an Active Directory DSCP and DNS configured on this server. And uh, on this server, we have a two for lookup zone, one is a underscore msgcs.mylab.local and second one is a mylab.local. As well as we have a reverse lookup zone for the same 192.168.10.10 that is the IP address of this server and we have another member server. Uh, this server has a IP 192.168.10.11 and as well as we already installed the uh, DNS server rule on this server. So let's create a new secondary zone on this server. So just uh, right click on it, uh, select new zone and click on next to continue. On the zone type selection, select the secondary zone, click on next and specify the zone name. So we are going to create the secondary zone of mylab.local. So that's why we have to specify the name uh, mylab.local. So click on next to continue. Now we have to specify the IP address of our master DNS server. So when a secondary DNS server is configured, it will request a zone transfer from a DNS server maintaining the master database for the zone. So if the master has been configured to allow the zone transfer with the secondary zone, the entire database will be transferred. So let's specify the IP address of our master DNS server and that is 10.10. .10. Okay. And click on next to continue and click on finish. Okay, so as you are seeing, we have a mylab.local, but they say the DNS server encountered a problem with the attempting to load the zone. The transfer of zone data from the master server is failed. The simple reason is we didn't enable a zone transfer on our master DNS server. So to do that, just right click on it, the mylab.local zone, select the property and uh, on zone transfer tab, select allow the zone transfer. And here is about the certain options are there to any server or to only server. Right now, we are going to select the third options only to the following server. And let's specify the IP address of that server. That is 192.168.10.11. Click on OK. And here is about the notification. Means whenever we have a change under the mylab.local, this master server will send a notification to our uh, this server. That is 192.168.10.11. 11 okay and apply and okay once you enable the uh, zone transferring on a master server now let's go back to our secondary zone and just click on uh, refresh as you are seeing we have a full copy of our master zone but if you see on uh, our mylab.local we are able to create a new record as well as we are able to delete the existing record but on a secondary dns zone we are not able to delete any record and as well as we are not able to create any new records under the mylab.local for lookup zone. So once the secondary zone receives the database from the master, it will now perform the all name resolution request for the namespace locally. And if we uh, update records on our primary zone, for example, here you can clearly see there is a start of authority numbers are there. Like currently we have a 34 on our secondary server. And if you see on a primary, uh, just refresh at 37. So based on these numbers, the both DNS server will send the updates and updates the records. So let's create a one new record. Uh, let's specify the name www and let's specify the IP address of our local server 10.10. .10. And I don't want to create a pointer records. Just click on add host. Okay, and done. Now as you are seeing. Uh, we have a start of authority number 38, but back on this server, we have a 36. So if you click on refresh, as you are seeing, we have a 38 as well as we have a newly created records on our secondary server. And same thing, if you delete from 
the primary server and again click on refresh now your start perfect number is on 39 come back on a secondary server once again a refresh and as you are seeing the record is deleted from secondary server as well as there is an increment in start of authority number so this is the way how we can create a uh, secondary zone on a dns server but for that you have to allow a zone transfer from your master server so that's it for this video demonstrations thanks for watching this video